Blurred Con 2019. Oh my God. Somebody get my blood pressure meds. We are all getting a little older. How are we doing? Go. This is our third year convention, the third annual Blurred Con. Uh, we have been blessed with growth. We have been blessed with community. Uh, we have been blessed with the growth in the diversity of events, the diversity of offerings, the diversity of activities, uh, and the diversity of our, our attendees and our uh, family, the extended family uh, for BlurredCon. We have got people from probably, I think we got about 18 different states represented uh, here. Today, we are expecting somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 7,000 attendees over the weekend. And we have, uh, we have been able, over the course of the last two years plus, to get a gauge of what you want and what the community needs and gauge the tempo of the growth of geekdom, black nerddom, the desire and the fulfillment of diversity and inclusion in gaming, anime, cosplay, sci-fi, literature, and just geekery all the way around. And you guys are here, you're gonna look around, you're gonna see so many people from so many different fandoms, you're gonna meet people who are from so many different places, so many different walks of life, so many people from different uh, genders and, and ethnicities and histories and ages and professions, that you guys are gonna have just this great opportunity to connect as a group here at the convention. So what I wanna do is to take a minute to bring out onto the stage uh, is uh, Stan back there, Stanley? Stan Lee? Stan Oh, there he is. I'm like, come on. Stan Robinson, the music director for BlurredCon. Come on out here and have a seat there. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Could you grab a mic? Yeah, grab a mic. Get you a mic. Yeah, they get you a mic. I got to tell the music director to get a mic. There you go. There's... Stan has, uh, has been uh, key in bringing some of what you're going to see in the music that's going to hit the stage. The music that is going to be the soundtrack that plays throughout the convention, both in some of the panels, the performances, uh, uh, even out in, in the barbecue cookout online. So tell them a little bit about yourself, sir. Peace, everybody. How's everyone doing? Good? All right, good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, again, my name is Stan Robinson. My stage name is Substantial. I've been uh, working in the music industry for about 20 years as a performer. Um, I've actually was I was introduced to BlurredCon because I've been a performer at the last two years. I might do I'm doing a little something tomorrow night uh, as well, and I've had the pleasure of like as he mentioned bringing some of the talent. So of course Samus is performing tomorrow night. Uh, those of you who were here for the band um, uh, a few what was it about 20 30 minutes ago, they are a band that I brought from a local middle school and just different just a wide variety of things. We're going to have some producers uh, making music live. Jay Soul and Sentences Tempo who. Besides being a music producer, is also a brother who recently created a comic book that's being released very soon. So a lot of different people have come over the years, and uh, we're looking to continue with that. And for those of you on Spotify, BlurCon has an official uh, playlist as well with our present and past music performers. So you can check that out just by searching BlurCon. But I hope you guys have a great time. Looking forward to building with you folks. And uh, yeah, on that note. All right, give this man a round of applause, y'all. Now I'm picking this order in complete randomness, so I, since I'm looking him in the eyes, I want to bring my man, Maurice. Maurice is going to come out here. Maurice has been working with BlurredCon since day one. He is responsible for uh, the cosplay guests, the cosplay contest. Uh, a lot of the DJs that we're working with uh, are part of his network, uh, and he's bringing that on. If not, you can just switch out. Uh, he, is, uh, he is a jack of all trades, uh, and he's uh, one of the uh, anchor people, and I figured I'd give him a chance to talk to him, give him a round of applause. My man Maurice. I don't, uh, I don't really do all that. I'm trying to find a food truck real quick. They're outside to the right, if you haven't been yet. But our cosplay contest will be uh, tomorrow at 6 p.m. If you're entering uh, pre-judging at 1, and I think the forms are at merch with uh, one of our volunteers, if you need it. Absolutely. And then after uh, our concerts, each night we're having after parties. 
in the same space. So come to stay. Don't even walk out. <laughs> well, they gotta walk out so we get rid of the chair. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They come right back. <laughs> They'll be dancing on the chair. And give a round of applause, Maurice, everybody. Now, I, I see somebody ducking back here who, who has been just, uh, uh, just prodding me. If you see me moving faster than I normally do, or standing up a little straighter than I normally do, one of the people that makes that happen is Carmen Shamwell. Come on up here, Carmen. As you can see, social media is her claim to fame. Give her the, the microphone come up front. She is in charge of social media. We have recently just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. Congratulations. You made that happen. And if you know anything about Instagram, they don't recognize you until you hit 900. You gotta get right up there at 10,000. That's when you're legit, you can really do stuff. So now that's gonna open up a lot of doors for us to be able to reach out. She has uh, previously also worked in volunteers, operations. Uh, she has worn many hats, uh, but she's one of the original uh, BlurCon family as well. Back when we were walking through this empty building and I'm telling it, it's gonna look like this and <laughs> from day one. So give a round of applause, Carmen Chamwell. I just wanna remind everybody, at BlurCon, hashtag BlurCon, hashtag Blur, Blur Magic, hashtag BlurCon 2019. Do it up. Hit us on social media. We'll try to repost. We'll try to retweet. Probably not till Sunday night, Monday. But we want to see all your beautiful faces all over our social media, and we want people who want to be able to be here this weekend to see everything that you guys experience and that you post it. And also, thank you so much for getting us to 10,000 on Instagram. That's huge. Now we got to get to 10,000 on Twitter. So follow us at Blurcon DC on Twitter. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now she didn't think I would see her, but uh, somebody sitting in the audience, Mrs. Uh, Cerise Kansias, can you just stand up for us? She didn't make it to the stage. Now Cerise is another originating founding member of the Blurred Crown organizing team. She is with Tifron 2, the, 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 the sequel to her husband who's running around here working real hard. Oh, there he is in the back, Tifron. Tifron, come on up here, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Bring yourself up here, don't be shy. Now, Cerise is in a very pivotal position at BlurCon. She is over programming. And if you know anything about BlurCon, one of the biggest features and the biggest takeaways that our attendees take is the panels and the workshops. We bring on more, we solicit more, we say yes to more panels and workshops than probably any other similar size convention. It's a lot of work getting scheduling, confirmations, and tech specs, and you know, making sure we're not doubling up and tripling up, or any of those kinds of things when it comes down to getting everything together. And she does that year round, okay? So give it up for Cerise Kansas. Give her a mic, give her a microphone. That was What am I supposed to say? Oh, thank you. Oh, that's true, thank you. That's, that's honest, I do, yeah. I mean, like, without, without, I'm sure there's some panelists in the audience, so without you guys like applying, this show would be like super boring. Like most of the things that people are excited to come here to see, besides like musical performances, that's cool. But a lot of it is the panels. A lot of what makes people want to come to BlurCon are the fact that we have amazing panels. So thank you to all the panelists who are in the audience. If you wanted to a panel and never applied, please apply. The more applications we get, the better our panels can be, right? So the, um, the schedule goes, the application, sorry, it goes live in October. So get your ideas ready, figure out what you're gonna do and apply. Thank you. Give a round of applause, y'all. Let's go hard. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you about my ABC. Now if you, if you know what that means, you nod. If you don't know, ask somebody on the way out. That's Mr. Tifron Kansas, he is responsible for things BlurCon and the smaller version of him right here uh, in Ms. Kansas' arms. He has pretty much been uh, you know, on every aspect of BlurCon since probably three months after the idea hit, I guess, uh, or, you know, getting the confirmations and getting the website up. Uh, you know, being a, a leader of POC cosplayers, uh, he was a big part of our social media footprint. The initial outreach, the initial introduction of BlurCon to the black nerd community online uh, was made possible uh, with his leadership. Uh, he has been around, he has done almost everything. I don't know what Tiffron hasn't done 
to one degree or another, or is doing or will do today and tomorrow to one degree or another. But he owes a, we owe him a big round of applause. Let's give it up for Tiffron Kansas. I just want to say I appreciate each and every last one of you coming out. Uh, we put a whole lot of work into making this, make sure this goes off, and seeing you guys happy, that's kind of our payoff. Uh, I don't got a whole lot to say, but thank you. Uh, and, and yes, round of applause, round of applause. Now, I will tell you that, that we have uh, we've become family in all the ways that really count. I don't think any of us have the same blood type, so you know we might not be, a, be in a physical crisis, but spiritually, I think we have bonded and connected in ways that only family can, and we consider you part of our extended family. You know, people get on me sometimes because when we get little messages or, or we get little pings or we get little questions on the uh, Facebook group or on social media, I'm like, if I'm up and I see it, I answer it. And people are like, are you crazy? You can't just be answering all the questions. I'm like, no, oh, just the one, you know? I feel like I'm talking to people that I would have in a car with me on a trip. You know what I mean? And I think we all kind of share that connection with you. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about what to expect. Hey, please, you guys, sit down. Have a seat. Have a seat. I forgot. Stand it up. We're going to be standing up all week. We can just relax, take a seat. There we go. So we have got some really, really cool stuff planned for you guys this weekend. A lot of the stuff you already saw uh, through the website, through the social media, flyers, posters, word of mouth, that kind of stuff. But we want to just reiterate what we've got going on. Obviously, as we talked about earlier, panels are huge. We've got a lot of panels going on. There's panels going on right now. They are all on the third level. And there are some panels happening in room A and B, which is just beyond this, this air wall, okay? Keep an eye on your schedule. Sometimes you're gonna see stuff that you wanna do and you, get, you can't be two places at once. We call those champagne problems. Like, oh, there's just so many panels and so many things and I wanna do both, I can't be two places. That's a, that's a good thing, but we're gonna keep those going. Those are gonna go all day and probably close to midnight on Friday night and Saturday night. So you're gonna see programming going around the clock almost uh, for the convention. Second, the video arcade and the video gaming room, which is kind of a nook, a little hallway here. That is around the clock, that is 24 hours. If you have insomnia, who here got, who gets, in, who gets con, I call it consomnia. Can't sleep, can't, right? You just get up three in the morning, wanna come down, guess what? Video games, music, guitar hero, all that stuff is gonna be going around the clock. We're not turning this off till three, four in the afternoon on Sunday, so please take advantage, it will not stop, and that's what we're here for, okay? Great variety of video games. We also have a great roster of guests. Uh, some of you may know that we have uh, Rachel True, the Rachel True. Here. Everybody's 90s crush, exactly, right? She is here, I'm like looking at her right now. She is amazing, she's, she's so down to earth. I highly, highly recommend that you guys go and just chat her up, get, get a picture with her. She's just the sweetest thing in the world, just making things happen. Just, you know, I, I'm just like, so glad that we had an opportunity to bring her here. So I highly recommend you guys check her out. We also have the, the Bo Billingsley is here. So if you guys are, are know anything about voice acting, this is one of the most prolific voice actors in the business. And he has done everything from Jet Black, from uh, Cowboy Bebop, any Cowboy Bebop fans? If you look at his resume, if you look at his roster, you're gonna find that this man has been in your house or on your computer at least three or four times. Either through video games, sci-fi, uh, anime, anime TV, he has just been around. So you, you talk to him, you're gonna start hearing your childhood coming out of his mouth, and he's sitting right here. Highly, highly recommend you guys talk to him. He's a really, really cool guy, and uh, we're really lucky to have him. Now, last but not least, we've got the Estelle in the building. Now, Estelle is a double threat, right? You, when you tell people Estelle is coming, there's some people know her as the Grammy Award winning artist, you know, American Boy and all that stuff, right? And then there's people who are just like, Steven Universe, oh, I don't even, like what? That's all I know. She sings too? Wow, okay. But, you know, the nerd stuff, she's got both of them, okay? She is a, a, a really, really, really sweet woman. She is just amazing, talented. Just really, really chill, really cool. Uh, and I highly recommend that you guys talk with her, get pictures, do a little selfie, get your uh, video recording or something going, and make it happen. Uh, wait, don't go nowhere. Oh, excuse me. Okay, 
Now you see this man on the end of here? I thought he would ran off site to the bank because we, <laughs> we, were, we were running crazy today. That man's name is Hassan Paris. Anybody here heard of Hassan? Okay. Hassan is my co-founder. This is my, my, my dude from before I wore size 10 shoes, right? And uh, from the beginning, before uh, I met any of the people in the, uh, the uh, community or any of that stuff, he came on board with the Blurred Con idea and was like, yes, let's do this, let's make it happen. I believe in it, it sold me, shut up. But God, God, let's get to business. This man has been uh, part of the show from day one. He is uh, behind the scenes. You don't really see him you know, at all the cons. You don't really see him maybe cosplay once a year or something like that, if that. And, uh, he, but he makes a lot of things happen behind the scenes, a lot of moves behind the scenes to keep us incorporated, keep our business in line, make sure the Bank of America don't raise our interest rates, all that kind of stuff. So give that man a big round of applause right there. Hey man, stand up, stand up now. You gotta stand up when you talk, they gotta see you. All right, tell them, tell them a little bit about yourself. Use that mic. There you go. Hey, um, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Hey, look, third year, we're going for the three P. Uh, we sold about 3,000 pre-sale tickets. That's about what we had in total attendance last year. I'm just so proud of y'all. Give yourself a round of applause. I mean, I'm just so glad to be here. If I fall into your arms in tears when you hug me, it's just because it takes so much work to get to this point. And then this, this part is actually easy because you all are here. Awesome staff making things happen. I've been dealing with the fire marshal all day because we didn't know we needed, they were like, shut us down. And I was like, fam. <laughs> you don't need, if I shut this down, you don't need more than the fire marshal. Call the police and everybody you got if I gotta shut this down. So I've been dealing with that all morning. He's bringing me the permit. We're good. We're gonna keep rocking. Glad y'all came. Year three. Wow. Thank y'all. Give it up, give it up. So we got musical guests as well. Uh, you guys heard of a, of, a, of a really, really, really smart cosplay and nerd rap performer by the name of Samus? I heard of him. Let me tell you something, man. PhD, is she ABD or has she done the dissertation? Does it even matter, right? I, I don't have none of that, so it sounds good to me. We call her Dr. Samus, exactly. She is gonna be performing live tomorrow night on this stage. If you have not seen Samus perform, you need to have yourself in the building. It is an amazing show. Uh, she's based out of Philly. Uh, she's gonna have some musical guests, you know, performing instrumentalists on stage with her. She does a really, really amazing show. So you definitely need to have yourself in this building right here to see her show when that happens. So you don't wanna miss that tomorrow. Tonight, we've got local fanatics, crazy people if you know them. Wreck the System is gonna be in the building. Anybody here heard of Wreck the System? Man, let me tell you something. That crew, I love them so much. They grind so hard. And when they get on the stage, man, everything is gonna be rocking. So the part of the show you need to see is gonna have my man on stage, plug, 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 plug. And then you're gonna have Wreck the System. There's gonna be DJs, there's gonna be music. It's just gonna be turned all the way up every night here going into two o'clock in the morning, okay? Now, on top of the music stuff, we also have food stuff. Now, you guys like food trucks? Okay. Now, Ashley's not here for me to congratulate her, but Ashley worked so hard to curate uh, an amazing list and roster of food trucks. Uh, we got about 13 trucks that are probably parked out there right now. Yeah, they're out there there's right no, now. There's no duplication. You got one, you know, barbecue truck. You got one Trinidad, you know, island truck. You got one hot dog truck. There's gonna be something for everybody. Vegetarian, vegan, we got that too. Uh, so one of the features that we have that I don't think any other convention has ever tried before or has ever done, we got a barbecue tomorrow. Now, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be blurry con, you gotta go all the way, right? So we got a barbecue going, people, all right? So from about, Noon to three tomorrow, 
I want y'all to get y'all's, uh, you know, get your shuffle shoes on. I want y'all, if you got a, if you got some, uh, uh, some old uh, pleated jeans, bring them out. Whatever you got to do, whatever your barbecue gear is, take it on out there, right? Frankie Beverly and Mays, we're not playing the new version. It's going to be the old version. Frankie Beverly. Peace, peace to Frankie Beverly. So that's, that, that is noon to three tomorrow. You don't want to miss it, but the food trucks are going to be largely round the clock, okay? So it's going to be at least four of the trucks are going to be two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. So if you, ooh, pizza, you just go right on around. Lights are on. It'll be safe. It's going to be ready. Just go take care of it. It's going to be great. So you're going to have food taken care of. Now, how many of you guys have got your VIP badge? Okay, good number. Good number. So Saturday night, Saturday night, we're about to go backwards in time about 25 years, okay? And we are going to have on the rooftop lounge the 1990s pajama jammy jam, okay? So up there on the roof, going up there, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be, some of the guests are gonna be up there, some of the celebrities are gonna be up there. We're gonna do 90s style. It's gonna be off the hook. It's gonna be a big hit. And these are all going on simultaneously. So some of these things you're gonna have to make life choices about. There's stuff happening all the time, round the clock. This is gonna break up families. You're gonna be like, oh, I gotta go upstairs. No, stay down with us. I gotta go. I gotta make, you know, I see it. It happens every year. It happens every year. Uh, I also wanna shout out our sponsors. Uh, Ultimate Wireless is the prize sponsor for the cosplay contest. Uh, they're also uh, putting in uh, some of the little gift bags and uh, uh, discount codes for you guys. A lot of tech happening with them. So uh, if you see their table, which will be set up right out here, go uh, get blessed, get your coupon codes. You know, they got everything going over here. It's a wonderful, wonderful business sponsoring us. Our biggest sponsor is Studio Codeworks, who are sponsoring last night's Murder Mystery. They're also going to be sponsoring tonight's uh, uh, burlesque show. Who likes burlesque shows? <laughs> Okay, so Midori Minx is doing the burlesque show up on the third floor tonight. You want to make sure that you have yourself in the building for that. Grown folks only. Grown folks. Grown folks. Grown folks. Grown folks. Grown folks. Grown folks. There you go. You don't want anybody clutching their pearls. And, you know, you just, just letting you know it's like that. That's why it's on the third floor. You got you to gotta be there deliberately <laughs> on Friday, on tomorrow night. Nobody's going to trip and stumble into, oh no, look at all of them. No, you gotta go. Elevator ride, cut through security, make a left, then. <gasps> Got it. So it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anyone? Did I miss. Oh, we've got merchandise. All right, you see these shirts? I see y'all. You like these shirts? Right? We've got, we've got BlurredCon merch right on. She's, she's, got the, she's got the backpack, everybody, eyes up. Backpack. What, see? Yeah, uh, ma'am, ma'am, I saw you. Oh. Oh. So y'all just, so just go there every time. Some old black people, now, we can't have nothing. <laughs> anyway, so merch, we got backpacks, we got fanny packs, we got t-shirts, we got hats. We got toothpaste, we got, what we, we got everything in, in, the, in the merch. So make sure you make it up to the landing on the independence level as you're going into the vendor hall, okay? Go in, get yourself straight. It's, I mean, it's gonna be amazing stuff. We got LED shirts, the ones that light up, to the music. We've got, you know, I mean, pretty much everything you can imagine is there. And last but not least, the only thing I don't wanna forget is the newest thing that we've done this year. And I'm going to kind of close on this because I think it's because it's new and I think it's something that's going to really stand out. Because of the need of BlurredCon, the growth of the uh, black nerd community within the larger geek community, right? We're always talking about things like representation, we're talking about inclusion. So when we have an event called BlurredCon, we do whatever we can, whenever we can, to try to put our blurred top spin on the ball. And we try to put things into the mix of the nerd world that kind of pings and hits, you know, like when I first said that we had a barbecue last year, you could see, especially black folks, it just hit you right in the 23 and me. You remember when I told you? Yeah, it's like, ooh, barbecue. Man, it's all my African ancestry right there. You know, first question, they got ribs. Like, 
if the if the barbecue pit master doesn't have on some house shoes and, a, and some jorts, I'm not eating. Like, you know, that kind of stuff. This year, we're taking it a step further. This year, we have the shop. We have got a barber shop set up here at BlurredCon because I know a lot of y'all are focused on your cosplays, you're focused on getting your car straight for the drive, you're focused on getting the food right and checking in and all that kind of stuff that you have to do. And the last thing that occurs to you is your edge, right? And sometimes, God bless you, God bless you, you know, sometimes the ears just overgrown, they just been so busy. Now, you guys are gonna have an opportunity right here in the Potomac uh, uh, vendor hall after two o'clock today, which will be in about 10 minutes. You'll be able to go in and get yourself taken care of by two uh, regional barbers who are nerds and, and young, and they talk King Kong crap about everything from who Goku can and can't beat to why uh, Saitama is, uh, is a gag character and they don't want to hear no more pits between him and Superman, that kind of stuff, right? So just bring all of that. Uh, I think the cuts are uh, uh, $20 a piece, so it's reasonable. Make sure you tip, but we want to make sure that you guys get yourselves together, get yourselves edged up, support them, because if we're able to support them, then we'll have more of it next year. I want to do something for the ladies. I want to get, I want to get somebody to do hair, maybe get some nails done. I want everybody to get their cosplay cuts, everything done, okay? So, what we want to do from here is that we want to welcome you guys to BlurredCon. We are humble, we are appreciative, we are frankly in love with you, the community. You've made this travail that we have year round, all year round, we're working to build up to this point to get you here, to get you in this space, to continue to bring your energy, support the con, support each other, come in and have a great time. So I want to thank you guys, and with that, we're going to go ahead and close out the opening ceremonies. And if you see somebody with a BlurredCon staff shirt or a BlurredCon volunteer shirt, give them a pat on the back, say thank you, whatever it is. They worked so hard. If they weren't on the stage, let them know you appreciate them because we appreciate you. So thank you very much, and enjoy your convention.